Learning how to write an essay can be a challenge. In this series of three videos, I will show you the basic steps of how to write an essay. In part one, we'll talk about how to get started writing the essay. First of all, let's look at the basic essay structure. For a basic essay, the first paragraph is the introduction paragraph. This is followed by body paragraphs and finally a conclusion paragraph. For this example essay, we will choose the three body paragraph style of essay writing. The first thing that you need to do when writing an essay is to understand the question or the assignment that you have. After understanding the question, you need to spend some time brainstorming and making an outline of your essay. This can also apply if you're writing from a topic that you have chosen or has been chosen for you. So let's use an example question and see how we would begin to write our essay. Let's look at this possible assignment question. Should people believe everything they read on the internet? Discuss and give your opinion. In this assignment, the first thing that you need to do is to discuss and then give your opinion. To discuss something means to examine the benefits and drawbacks of something. What are the good points and the bad points about this topic? Do you think that people should believe everything they read on the internet? Or should people be more careful? This is the question in this assignment. So we need to discuss and then give our opinion about this topic. So now that we know what we need to do in this assignment, let's move to the brainstorming section. To brainstorm for ideas means to think of as many ideas as you can that could be used in writing the essay. The good point about or benefit of our topic is that the internet is a great source for information. Most people would agree that this is true. However, there are some reasons why we should be careful about how much we believe about what we read on the internet. One idea that you might think of would be that anybody can post on the internet. Another idea that you may decide on is that information can change daily. And not every source is reliable and probably should not be believed. It is often a good idea to have at least three ideas that you have thought about to write in your essay. You may not use all these three ideas, but it will give you more information to be able to write a well-developed essay. Now that we have our three main ideas that we would like to use in our essay, we can write the thesis statement. The thesis statement is one of the most important sentences in your essay. This is where you will write your thoughts about the topic and what you were going to discuss in the essay. Here is one possible thesis statement that you could write. Although the internet is a great source for information, the fact that anybody can post on the internet, information can change daily, and not all sources are reliable, should cause more people to be careful about how much they trust the information they read. As you can see, we have included all three of our ideas in this thesis statement. Anybody can post on the internet, information can change daily, and not every source is reliable. By using your three main ideas, you can write a very clear thesis statement. Now here's another possible thesis statement for this essay. The internet is a great source for information. However, the fact that anybody can post information on the internet, that information can change daily, and not all sources are reliable should cause more people to be careful about how much they trust the information they read. Now, as you can see, we have included all three of our ideas in this thesis statement as well. 
let's say that you de decided to use this thesis statement for your essay. So now we can write our introduction paragraph. The introduction paragraph often begins with some kind of surprising fact or a quote about your topic. We could write something like this. We live in the world of information overload. Finding information is easier than ever before. However, although the internet is a great source for information, the fact that anybody can post on the internet, information often changes daily, and not all sources are reliable, should cause more people to be careful about how much they trust the information they read. As you can see, we have added two sentences at the beginning and then written our thesis statement. A basic introduction paragraph can be written with three or four sentences. Now we can work on our outline for the rest of the essay to help us write our body paragraphs. Our first point is that anybody can post on the internet. For this paragraph, we could write about social media, websites, and Wikipedia to show that anybody can post on the internet. Our second body paragraph is about how information can change daily. Here we might include some sentences about news information and statistics. And finally, our third body paragraph is about how not all sources are reliable. Here we could talk about opinion-based information the fact that many articles are not peer-reviewed, and that people should check their sources of the information they read. So let's look at our basic essay structure again. We have now written the introduction paragraph of our essay. In part two, we will talk about how to write the body paragraphs. And in part three, we will finish by writing the conclusion paragraph. Be sure to check out part two of this How to Write an Essay series. Happy writing!